One misunderstanding of the gospel is that we treat it like it's a get out of hell free card, as if it's just sort of a fire insurance plan. Like all God wants to do is to just uh, keep us from having to experience his wrath. In reality, the gospel is far more than that. Uh, God's salvation accomplishes far more than just keeping us out of hell. What God wants is to give us an entirely new spiritual life. It's really God's gift of himself to his people. The gospel says not just that we don't go to hell, but even more importantly, that we go to be with God, that we spend eternity in his presence as his children living our lives out before him. Some people think that the gospel just means that God is friendly and that he likes us and that he wants to, to forgive us. And so if we just try to do our best, if we just give it our best effort, if we try to keep our noses clean, and if we kind of feel bad about it when we mess up, then God, of course, he's gonna, he's gonna love us and he's gonna let bygones be bygones. But in reality, the gospel is far more than that. Uh, the fact is God is holy. He is a righteous judge. And so he won't ever just say that it doesn't matter that we've sinned any more than a, a good judge will look at a guilty criminal and just let them go free. God is loving, but he's holy. So the gospel tells us that in fact, God didn't just ignore our sin. He didn't just tell us to try our best, but he actually sent his son to live the life we should have lived. Jesus gives us his righteousness as a gift. And so we're holy, not because we try our best, but God looks at us as being righteous and, and right in his eyes because we're connected to Jesus. Because Jesus lived for us and died for us. We're forgiven. It doesn't have to do with trying hard or doing your best. Some people think that the good news of Christianity is a message that God wants you to be happy and healthy and wealthy and prosperous in this life. But in reality, that's not true. Jesus himself died penniless, friendless, in, in shame and humiliation. The apostles uh, didn't have nice houses or big cars. Uh, they weren't very popular with the crowds. Uh, many of them died in painful ways. The gospel is, is far better than a health and wealth message. In fact, the good news of Christianity is that even when we experience difficulty, uh, even when we are sick, even when we experience painful relationships, God walks with us through that time. We have his presence and his love. We can be sure of his care. We can be confident that God's not punishing us, but that he's working everything that happens to us uh, together for our good and for his glory. And then God promises ultimately in a beautiful passage in Revelation to dry every tear someday. And in the end, we get to be with God forever. Some people think that the gospel is just a message that you need at the very beginning of your Christian life. And then you kind of leave it behind that it's sort of the the elementary school teachings and you, you graduate on to more difficult and, and meaningful concepts. But in reality, the gospel is a message that believers need every day. If you think about it, in the Bible, uh, the Apostle Paul writes to, for example, the church at Rome, and he tells them the gospel, the good news that Jesus lived for them and died for them and rose again from the dead uh, for them. Well, he's telling that message to a bunch of people who are already Christians because he knows they need to understand it for their everyday life. And the fact is we're all sinners, and so we all need every day to remind ourselves of God's grace and his love and his forgiveness and his total acceptance of us in Christ. That, that changes the way we live day in and day out. So the gospel gives me um, strength and courage to admit my sin. I don't need to be defensive because, in fact, Jesus died for all of my sin. Uh, and so I'm able to confess my sin, I'm able to own it, and I'm able to ask God for forgiveness and to know that he does forgive me. And so the, the gospel message isn't something that we leave behind, but it's something that we need to remind ourselves of and preach to ourselves every day as we follow Christ.